Hello guys, welcome back and welcome kung bago ka sa channel na to. So, yung pag-usapan naman natin ngayon sa ating uh, match tutorial video is uh, equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-transform ng equation into quadratic equation. So, example. So, yung mga may encounter yung problem uh, dito sa topic na is mga ganito siya mga fraction. No? Okay. So, dahil fraction siya, yung first step natin dito kailangan makancel natin itong mga denominator. Okay? So, may kita nyo yung mga denominator natin dito is 5 and x. So, para makancel natin siya, kasi nandito siya sa denominator, magmumultiply lang tayo ng 5x. Okay? Both sides. So, multiply tayo dito ng 5x, multiply din tayo dito sa kamila. Okay? Para makancel yung mga denominator. So, Actually, itong 5x na to, ito yung LCD na ating mga uh, fraction or yung ating uh, mga rational expressions. Okay? So now, uh, distribute lang natin to, yung 5x. So dito muna, 5x times x plus 1 over 5. So mangyayari, makakancel yung 5. Okay? So matitira na lang is x times x plus 1 na lang. Okay? Then minus... So, dito naman natin multiply yung 5x. 5x times 2 over x. So, dito naman, makakancel naman yung x naman. Okay? So, matitira, 5 times 2 na lang. 5 times 2. Okay? Equals. So, dito naman, 4 over 5 times 5x. Cancel naman yung 5. Okay? So, cancel yung 5. Matitira is 4 times x na lang. Okay? So, natanggal na natin yung mga denominator. Okay? Now, simplify natin siya. So, distribute lang natin itong x. x times x, that's x squared. Uh, plus, x times 1, that's x. Minus 5 times 2, that is 10, equals to 4x. Okay? And then, uh, lipat lang natin itong 4x dito sa kabila. So, magiging negative siya. Okay? Yun. Then, simplify natin. Last step. x squared. Uh, x minus 4x, negative 3x. Minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay? So, na-transform na natin tong equation na to into uh, quadratic equation. Okay? Ganun lang siya. For example, number 2 natin. So, tatlong example yung sasagutan natin. No? So, make sure na kung panood nyo yung tatlong samples na to para uh, talagang maintindihan nyo yung topic na to. Okay? So, for example, number 2. Uh, transform the equation into quadratic equation. So again, sinabi ko kanina, yung mga problem natin dito is mga fraction siya. So first step again, cancel natin itong mga denominator. So, yung mga denominator natin is 2 and x minus 3. So para makancel yan, multiply lang tayo ng 2 times x minus 3 both sides. Okay? x minus 3. So, multiply din tayo dito ng 2 times x minus 3. Okay? Again, ito yung LCD ng ating mga fraction. Yung mga rational expression natin. Okay? So, now, distribute natin again siya. So, 2, 2 times x minus 3 times x over 2. So, makakancel yung 2. So, matitira is x minus 3 times x na lang. Okay, plus, so dito naman natin siya multiply 2 times x minus 3 times 2 over x minus 3. So, yung mga answer naman dito is yung x minus 3 naman. Okay, so matitira na lang is 2 times 2 na lang. Okay, equals uh, 1 half times 2 times x minus 3. So, cancel naman yung 2 dito. So, matitira is x minus 3 na lang. Kasi 1 times x minus 3, x minus 3. Okay? And then, simplify natin. So, distribute lang natin itong x. x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Plus 2 times 2, that is 4. And then, x minus 3. Okay? Then, lipat lang natin itong x minus 3 dito sa kabila. Plus 4. So, yung x may negative siya. And then, yung negative 3, magiging positive 3. Equal to 0. Okay? So, nalipat na natin sila lahat dito sa left side. 
Then simplify lang natin na combine like terms lang. So copy lang sa x squared, wala naman siyang uh, kaparehas dito. Then negative 3x minus x, negative 4x. Then 4 plus 3, that is 7. Okay. So, na-transform na natin yung equation into quadratic equation. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? And for the last example natin, example number 3, uh, transform the equation into quadratic equation. So again, first step, uh, kailangan matanggal natin itong mga denominator. So, may kita nyo, magkakaiba yung tatlong denominator natin. X minus 5, X minus 3, and 2. So, para ma-cancel natin yung mga denominator, mag-multiply lang tayo na X minus 5 times X minus 3 times 2. Okay? Para ma-cancel yung mga denominator natin. So, ito yung LCD nila. So, multiply din tayo dito sa kabila. X minus 5 times X minus 3 times 2. Okay? So now, distribute natin to. So, x minus 5 times x minus 3 times 2 times 2x over x minus 5. So, makakancel dito yung x minus 5. Okay? So, matitira nyan, cancel na to. x minus 3 na lang times 2 times 2x. Okay? Cancel na tong x minus 5. Then, dito naman, x minus 5 times x minus 3 times 2 times 1 over x minus 3. So, makakancel naman yung x minus 3. So, plus, matitira na lang is x minus 5 times 2. Okay? Cancel natin yung x minus 3. Okay, equals. So, dito, 3 over 2 times x minus 3 times x, x minus 5 times x minus 3 times 2. So, makakancel yung 2. Natitira is 3 times x minus 5 times x minus 3. Okay. So, natanggal na natin yung mga denominator nila. Okay? Then, simplify lang natin yan. Okay? So, meron palang parenthesis dito na. Baka malito kaya. Okay? So, simplify muna natin to isa-isa. So, 2 times 2x, that is 4x. So, erase na lang natin siya. So, equal lang yun sa 4x. Yung 2 times 2x. And then, distribute natin yung 4x dito. So, 4x times x, 4x squared. 4x times negative 3, negative 12x. Then, plus, yun naman. Distribute naman natin yung 2. 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. And then, dito, simplify muna natin tong to. So, x times x, ah, foil lang to, no? x times x, x squared. And then, outer times outer, x times negative 3, negative 3x. Then, inner times inner, negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 3 times, negative 5 times negative 3, positive 15. Okay. And then, distribute lang natin yung 3. So, 3 times x squared, 3x squared, 3 times negative 3x, negative 9x, 3 times negative 5x, negative 15x, and 3 times 15, that is positive 45. Okay. And then, uh, combine like terms lang tayo. So, i-risk ko na lang, no, para hindi na tayo, para hindi mahaba. So, negative 9x minus 15x, that is negative 24x. So, i-risk ko na lang siya. Negative 24x plus 45. So, tanggalin ko na ito. Okay, so sinimplify lang natin yung mga x. And then, dito rin. So, pwede rin natin itong i-add. So, ilagay ko na lang dito. 4x squared. Negative 12x plus 2x. Negative 10x. Uh, minus 10. Okay. And then, ito, ilipat natin siya dito sa kamila. Yung 3x squared magiging negative 3x squared. Yung negative 24x magiging positive 24x. And then, magiging negative yung 45. So, equal to 0. Okay? So, itong tatlong to, nilipat lang natin dito sa kapila. Okay? And then, combine like terms lang. So, 4x squared minus 3x squared. 
x coordinate line. Then negative 10x plus 24x, that is positive 14x. And then, so na-answer na natin to, na-answer na natin to. Negative 10 minus 45, that's negative 55. Equal to 0. Okay. So, na-transform na natin yung equation into quadratic equation. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? Comment below guys kung ako. Thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to like.